Are you trying to grow your YouTube channel through shorts or your Instagram page through reels? Then this is the app for you. 10 shorts and 10 reels in just 30 minutes. Yes, you had me right. Barely two minutes per video to fill up your content calendar. I am genuinely impressed by what this app can do. If you're a content creator in 2024 and you do not have the time and money to invest in complex editing software, this is really the app for you. Happy New Year everybody, it's Rebecca here and in this video I'm going to be showing you Lightcut which is a free video editing software that is officially recommended by DJI. It is listed on the DJI website. You can download Lightcut on the official DJI website. Just click the Explore tab and scroll to the bottom. On the left there's both Android and iOS buttons to download. Before you even download the app, you can see on the same page the features of the app and why it is a good choice to have, especially if you're using DJI or Osmo products. But even if you're not and you're just using your phone, this is a very good app to have. For those of you using the app with DJI products, you can connect all your devices to the app. As you can see, once you click on devices, it starts searching. And just in case your device does not connect, you still get the reasons as to why this is possible. And you even have a help button to instantly find out why you cannot connect or even get help of how you can connect. As you can see, then they list all the DJI devices and how you can connect them and what you need. Once your devices are connected to the app, not only can you share your videos or your content on all apps wirelessly, you can also edit your videos in real time without downloading them from the devices themselves. The app is very good for beginners because it is easy to use, it is flexible, but most importantly, it is free. If you follow all my videos on YouTube, you know I'm all about saving money while acquiring the best quality. Let's look at this app interface for a minute and go into detail a bit. As you can see, there are three options here, which include a one tap edit, inspire cam and the new project. Let's start with the new project. Once you click on it, you'll notice that you go to all the videos that are probably on your device or on your phone. And from those, you can select what exactly you want to put together and create your content. Secondly, there's this Inspire Cam. This one will have templates for you. So we are going to choose a template like Summertime. And in this template, you'll also have a way of taking shots. For example, the first one says medium close up and the content should be leaves. This is easy, especially if you're a new content creator and you don't know how to capture very nice moments. It will lead you to what you should shoot. As you can see at the bottom, it shows clearly what you can shoot. And if I click on it, it will go directly to my phone because I'm not using a device at the moment. You can also see here that in the second example, it's a baby journal. Since I do a lot of um, parent content, this is what I would, for example, take on if I were to take the Inspire Cam. And it shows you the content will be kids' toys and what you should exactly should so in medium the movement should be pan shot and captures with stabilizer which is very good i find it very relieving because most of us do not know exactly what to shoot when we're doing something let's now shift our focus to the one tap edit which is the one you'll be using mostly if you're a beginner and this one will send you directly to your content so whatever you recorded and the good thing about it is that you can choose a video. Once it's chosen, you will see it here at the bottom that it's chosen. But on the same video that you chose, there's also an expand button. And once you click on that button, you can make highlights of the moments you really want to be shown in your video. As you can see, I like that space and maybe I like the end. Once you are done selecting your highlights, you will notice that then at the bottom, it shows that you have two videos, which you can play 
to complete or you can just go back and you'll see that they're already selected as two clips. Then we will select something else, this on the flight and this. When you're done with your selection, you just have to go to next and then the AI will take a minute and analyze everything and make for you your video. As you can see, it will make a video as it thinks it should come out. It will automatically put the music. If you do not really like what the AI created for you, the good thing is you can fully customize it again. For example, I do not like the sticker at all. So I can just click on this and then the sticker is off immediately. You can also change and look at how these things work, like the edit, where you can increase the volume, reduce the volume. You can replace a clip. You can delete a clip. You can add text. Um, once you're done, you can also check the music, put some of the music you like. You can add stickers, add effects. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You can put a filter depending on what really it is that you like. Another thing you can do is change the theme of the video. So if we don't like the template we chose, we can easily choose another one. As you can see, it does the same process again. It recreates and gives us what we want. Please note that changing the theme will also change the music and how the video comes out. Once you are happy with what you've created, you will notice that at the top you can change the ratio. So to 916 in case you're putting this as a, um, a, a shot or a reel or 1619 if you're using it for a video. You are also able to change the resolution. So you have 720p, 1080p, 2.7k and you also have 4k. Once you decide what you want to do, then you can export your video. As you can see, it takes a minute to load. This was only nine seconds, but if you're doing a longer video, so you have to expect to wait a bit of a longer time. It doesn't take too much time. And when it's done, as you can see, it says it's saved to my album and also to the drafts. Remember that we mentioned that one of the beautiful things about the app is that it lets you share your content in real time. So as you can see at the bottom, it already shows you some of the social media places you can share Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And when you click on more, you get all the others, YouTube messages, anywhere you want to share. So for now, I do not want to share anything. So I will just say that done. And then it will go back immediately to the usual interface. When we return to the interface, you'll notice that there's drafts here and that's where I will click. Once it's clicked, you will see all the things that I've created. And if I want to edit, I'll just click on edit and edit whatever is there. But also my template drafts will always be visible unless I want to remove them. And with that, you just click on the bugger menu and you'll have rename, copy or delete. At the moment, I'm not deleting. That video that I just showed you was fully generated by AI. I did not edit anything. It chose everything on its own. And that's considering that most of the clips I had recorded were not only just 10 seconds or three seconds. Some of them were a minute long, but it chose the very nice moments of the room, the very nice visuals that everyone should see. And it put them together. And suddenly I had a 42 second video, which I really, really love. If you use DJI or Osmo products, I recommend highly to use this app to edit your footage, especially if you don't want it to move from your drone or your pocket to the phone. But 
even those that are just using their recorded content on the phone, this is a perfectly good app to have everything in order and make your work look like a professional. The only time I would recommend moving your footage straight from the device to the phone is when you cannot export your content in 4K and you badly need it in 4K because this is also sometimes a problem, but DJI is working on it. Please note that everything we did with the one tap edit can be done manually with the Inspire Cam like I showed you at the beginning or with just clicking on the new project and doing everything that you would prefer to do. But with this video, it was most important that we serve the purpose of saving time and that's why the one tap edit would be the best recommendation from my end. And that's where this light cut video editor saves you so much time. Before you decide to create, don't forget that there are plenty of templates, as you can see here, in very many categories. I see aerial, sports, travel, tempo, cute, vlog, whatever you need. Just choose the template that is best for whatever you're creating and you'll never regret. So guys, that is all I had for you for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If you think so, just give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe and happy new year once again. Bye bye.